mac and cheese balls. If you've got the time, they're worth it. First thing we do for our mac and cheese is just start prepping things. So I have some oil in there, and this time I'm just using some extra virgin olive oil. Next thing is I have bacon. I'm just gonna kinda cut the bacon up real thin-like. Put the bacon in the pan. Now it's time for our onion. And that's really probably all, all the onion we need for this. Let's get this on the stove. Right now we have water boiling and it's almost ready to start boiling. We just turned on the, the bacon and the onion. Let's get it going. Oh, run away. For the water, we're gonna throw some salt in it. You could put oil in there as well, it's your call. As you can see, our water's boiling. We're just using elbow mask. I'm going to put about half of it in there. Stir it up immediately. That way it doesn't stick together, the elbow mat. Cut the heat just a little bit. It's been about two minutes and we're going to give our macaroni a quick stir. We're going to check on our onions and bacon. As you can see the onions are starting to separate. I'm going to add about a clove and a half of garlic to this. Mix it up in there. Stir our macaroni again. All right, let this cook down. We're into this about eight minutes. It's time to put in a cup of heavy cream into here. Oh, so close. I happen to have another thing of heavy cream. So I'm going to eyeball this part. Close enough. Stir it all up. And the recipe also calls for a cup of milk. We're going to let that come up to temperature and then we're going to add our cheese. Well, as you can see, we're boiling. So now we're going to put in some cheese and we're just using extra sharp cheddar cheese. Let it kind of fuse in there, start melting down. It should start thickening this up too. Add some more. And just look how that cheese is just melting in there. And now the last bit of our cheese. Oh man. Right to the end. See that? Yeah. Great. Let's give this a few moments to fuse. We already took the macaroni off because it's done. So we're putting the macaroni into a different pan. As you can see, it's been sitting in there for a few minutes. Stir it up. Perfect. We're gonna add our cheese to it. Now 
That is some good looking macaroni and cheese right there. But we're not done. Oh no. All right, I'm gonna let this cool off for a bit, probably about an hour or so, and then we scoop. So it feels like pretty much we've been cooking all day on this, but now's the fun part. We get to cook with hot oil. Our mac and cheese has been outside for about two hours. And the reason why I did it is I just want to cool it off so I can take it, scoop it up, and make a ball just like that. So I'm going to make several of these for us. Let's put it through the dredge. So we have three bowls here, and this is all for our dredging. First one is flour, the second one egg, and the third is Japanese panko. So our first one, we're just gonna put it in the flour, put it through the dredge, and then into the panko. And we're gonna coat it really well with the panko. That looks awesome. We'll do it again. Flour, dredge, egg dredge, egg wash, whatever you want to call it. And in you go. We're hitting about 349, 350 in temperature. I think it's time to try the first ball. We're only going to put one in at this point just to see how it reacts. So we're into this two and a half minutes, and this thing is floating around. Let's give you kind of a look at that. It's actually looking pretty darn good. So I'm gonna take this one off, and we're gonna load up again. This time we're gonna try two. Now these ones are a little bigger than the last one. And it might take just a little bit longer for these to cook. All right, two and a half minutes is up. Look at that, just golden. Take them off the side. Put the pan up there. And it's time to reload. This time we're going for three. You ready for this? Mm. So we're at about two and a half minutes again. Look at that, I think it's done. Wow. That is golden brown right there. Oh, look at that. Mm. Just golden brown, perfect. Been totally waiting all day for these. Mmm. Wow. Damn, these things are delicious. Holy moly. You know, the first thing you hit is that crunch. Totally delicious. But the mac and cheese inside of that, what a cool treat. I'm mean, seriously, it is, it's like a party in your mouth, seriously. It took a long time to make these things, but man, they're worth it. Definitely on my list of things to make again. Mmm. Totally wish I could share these things with you. Just packed with flavor. Well, the recipe's down below. Please make sure to check it out. Really appreciate you guys watching this. All right, we'll talk to you later. Remember the dude abides this time with mac and cheese balls. 
We'll talk to you next time, guys. First of all, I didn't realize that mac and cheese had balls, cuz. Mm, fair enough. Let me see the bacon. It looks like bacon dust to me. It looks like bacon sprinkles to me. It looks like bacon candy to me. It looks like fossilised bacon that's been discovered in an archaeological dig. To me.